The younger member of this father-son team got his start in the air show business with the Blue Angels, flying the number three left-wing position in the years 1971 and 1972. But his two years with the Blues weren't enough. <laughs> and after leaving the Navy, our first recipient started performing at air shows. <laughs> first, <laughs> as a parachutist, who on at least one occasion managed to light his clothes on fire with a smoke grenade. <laughs> and then later as a competent pilot. His father was always one of his son's biggest fans while he was on the Blue Angels and then gravitated towards the air show business after one successful career in the United States Army and a second successful career with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Now before too long, Dad had become a full-time road crew transporting the little bitty jet from one show site to another and acting as ground crew and announcer throughout the air show season. In his spare time, he also managed to act as the organizational spark plug for an irreverent <laughs> and sometimes cantankerous group of mixed breeds and mutts that pride themselves on doing the grunt work for air show performers. Proud to be UAG. Are there any UAG members here? <laughs> the grunts are here. <laughs> in addition to sharing a name and a deep down love of our business, these two wonderful men also share a unique ability to deal effectively with the serious business of air show flying always managing to introduce their own sense of humor into a business that sometimes can take itself a bit too seriously. Self-depreciating and always good natured, they are the quintessential air show ambassadors, the kind of air show professionals with whom virtually all of us would gladly entrust the reputation and integrity of our wonderful business Ladies and gentlemen, what a kick. What a kick, eh, Sean? It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the next men coming up on the stage and have you please welcome Bill Big B Beardsley and Bill Berner Beardsley, the two newest inductees under the ICAST Foundation Hall of Fame. <laughs> 